Dear broadcaster friends, welcome to our first broadcast talk, where we will talk about radio station equipment. We'd like to show you what equipment you need to set up your own radio station. In our later videos, we're going to talk about all kinds of broadcast equipment, and ultimately we will look at each article individually. If you like our videos, give us a like and subscribe, which will help us a lot and click the bell to stay updated on all our latest videos. Before we start, let's have a little music. So, let's talk about radio station equipment. The main question would be, what equipment do I need to set up my own radio station? We've got some here, so let's start from the studio equipment, the equipment you'll need in your own studio. Uh, you can have different kinds of studios depending on your budget mainly and on your needs. Uh, so you could have a smaller studio for community radios and such, or bigger studios for commercial, public uh, or national radios. Let's look at some of the basic equipment that you'll need in your studio. Uh, a mixer console, for example, which is uh, the heart of any studio. Um, this is the piece of equipment that you use uh, to manage all the audio signals coming in your studio and control them. You'll need speakers such as these ones uh, to be able to hear properly uh, the sound and how it sounds without headphones. So the better the quality of your equipment, the better the quality of your speakers in this case, uh, the better the sound uh, you'll be able to hear. You'll need headphones too, as mentioned. Uh, these are for each person in the studio, so the speaker and all the guests, to be able to clearly hear uh, what is being said, so to listen to what is being broadcast. Uh, these are some AKG K240 headphones, which are good quality ones. Uh, the quality also in this case matters a lot, uh, because you want to be able to hear a clear, uh, high quality sound. You will need, of course, microphones. Uh, those are uh, for the speaker and each guest uh, to, to talk. Uh, and then what, they're, what is being said by them is what is actually being broadcast. So uh, the microphone is actually where everything starts from. Um, it starts from the voice uh, of, of a person. It could also be an audio file on your computer, um, but that's where everything starts and that's what, sh what you're actually broadcasting, uh, what you're saying or what you're playing, uh, which is to say. You'll need a computer with monitors, um, of course, to manage uh, everything, uh, especially the radio playout, which is a software you can install in your computer. Uh, which will run uh, and manage everything you'd like to broadcast. You can create playlists, uh, add commercials, uh, play music um, and play uh, programs in your radio, whatever your aim and objective is. Um, the computer with the radio playout will enable you to manage all the contents. Uh, we will show you that in greater detail uh, later on. You will of course need furniture. Um, this desk for example is specifically made for uh, uh, broadcast purposes um, because it comes with a rack that can fit all your broadcast equipment. Uh, it might be more expensive of course than a normal desk but that's because it's of broadcast quality and will allow you to fit uh, all your broadcast equipment and work comfortably. 
you will need an on-air light such as this one uh, that's for everybody to know when you're live so when you're broadcasting uh, the on-air light is essential for everybody to know uh, that you're live and broadcasting that is about um, the basic equipment um, of course uh, we shouldn't forget that with microphones you need uh, you don't need it but it, of course it's advisable to have it a mic arm or mic stand um, for you to be able to adjust your microphone properly and work comfortably um, these mic arms that you see here are extendable so uh, that makes it much more comfortable for everyone to uh, work you could also find mic uh, stands that go on top of the desk uh, they're not extendable such as these ones but they're good quality and they do the job well uh, too so this is about uh, this is kind of a basic set uh, for a studio uh, and this is the studio part you will need more equipment for a full complete radio station um, namely transmission equipment so let's go and have a look at that let me turn on the microphone here so you'll be able to hear me properly this is a uh, radio FM transmitter. Uh, we manufacture them. This is our own 500 watt transmitter. Uh, and this is the piece of equipment that actually allows you to uh, broadcast. Uh, transmitters come in uh, several levels of power. This is kind of a medium level of power. Uh, depending again on your mission and your budget uh, you need different types of transmitters as high power transmitters cost more than low power ones of course and they cover a different range um, a different radius in in terms of uh, kilometers and area that you'd like to cover uh, to be able to transmit you'll need not only the transmitter uh, but of course antennas uh, those are uh, the pieces of equipment that will actually transmit the signal uh, and send it on air to be then picked up um, by whoever is listening in uh, to do that you'll need to connect the transmitter to the antenna using a cable uh, we've got different cables here uh, this is a half inch cable uh, it's a shorter one, as you can see. This cable is RG213 um, and it's a much longer cable. Uh, the usual length is 30 meters, but it all depends on where you install your antenna. Um, if you install antennas uh, on top of a mountain, or on top of a building you always normally need a tower and a pole on top of that tower and um, so that you'll be able to transmit and cover a good area the higher up the antenna the better the coverage um, let me show you an example of an FM antenna this is a dipole FM antenna this one is uh, stainless steel. We also make them in aluminium. Um, of course, they're both resistant, but the stainless steel one is um, a bit, of course, more resistant to any kind of weather conditions. Um, the aluminium, less so, but it, it's, of course, of great quality too. Uh, with the antennas, uh, you could have splitters depending on the number of antennas that you wish to install you could just install one or you could have uh, several two four six or eight if you install more antennas you'll need a splitter uh, let me show you one this for example is a four-way splitter um, this one is quite big, uh, very resistant, and it can carry high power. 
uh, smaller splitters are for lower power transmitters. Uh, this is a four-way one, as I said, so it will split uh, in four-way and send the signals uh, to four different antennas. Okay, so we've looked at the studio equipment and we've looked at the transmission equipment. You might have a question, which is how do I connect uh, the studio to the transmission site, uh, especially when those are far away from each other. For that, uh, there's a specific type of equipment called STL Link. Uh, it's a complete system. I'm going to show you what that is and how it works. Uh, let's just have a look at our website where we've got everything that I've just said written down in the form of a guide. Right, let's have a look at our website. Uh, as I said, there's a guide there where we explain everything I've just been saying. Let me show you here. This is our web page takeobroadcast.com. Um, as you can see here, we manufacture FM transmitter and we also distribute um, radio uh, station equipment uh, for radio stations and uh, video equipment too for video or television studios. We've got a section up here called radio station equipment, which is the one we're showing you today. This is a complete guide that mentions everything I've just been saying. We've got some questions here to start with, uh, some frequently asked questions, uh, the most common ones, which we have answered. And as I mentioned, we've got transmission equipment, so for the transmission site, which consists of transmitter, antennas, cables and connectors, and studio equipment. This is a basic package, of course, uh, you can use uh, so much more. When we talked about the STL link, um, this is what happens with the signal. So it starts from the studio. The STL link system is able to send the signal over to the transmission site. So through an STL link transmitter, the signal travels, is transmitted by one antenna, picked up by the other one, goes to the receiver, and then into the FM transmitter. From there, an FM cable will carry the signal all the way up to your tower, up to the pole, and then to your FM antenna. And finally, the signal is sent on air, uh, therefore broadcast. So this is uh, to show you uh, how everything works, how the signal travels, and especially what an STL link uh, system consists of and what it does. Uh, over here, point number three, we've got a very important uh, distinction, which is the one between broadcast quality equipment and musician equipment. Uh, broadcast quality equipment is normally of superior quality, um, mainly because it has to work to stay on all the time, uh, whereas musician equipment can be used uh, just for a few hours and then switched off and used again uh, the following day. Broadcast equipment has to be uh, on all the time and therefore it has to be very resistant and of uh, incredible quality. So make sure your equipment is of broad broadcast quality. Um, even when you're buying a mixer console, for example, make sure it is a broadcast one, not a musician one, if your aim is to broadcast 
um, whatever uh, you're doing in your own radio station. As we said, there are different kinds um, of radio stations, uh, community, commercial, um, national, they have different purposes, educational, religious, and so on. It really depends uh, on, on what you'd like to do, uh, what your objective is, and all these different kinds require a different budget. Um, so you really need to know uh, what your purpose is, um, and then you can get advice, of course, on what's the best solution for you. Um, and very important point and a question many people have is how much you need to spend. Um, the budget, of course, is a, a very important aspect. Um, it's just useful for you to know that with 3,000 euros, for example, uh, you can install and set up um, a radio station. Uh, it's going to be a small one, but still you're able to do that uh, with uh, on this budget. Um, if, on the other hand, uh, you're looking to set up a complete radio station uh, that's got a lot of equipment, then uh, expenses could go up to 500,000 euros or more. Uh, it really depends, again, on your mission, your objective. Uh, different budgets, of course, will grant you access to different kinds uh, of projects. So, we've looked at everything there is to know for a start to set up a radio station equipment. Um, if you go to our shop, as I'm showing you here, you will find our complete packages under the packages section. These are transmission packages. Uh, as you can see, they have different power levels, the, therefore different prices. And as you can see, they're complete of everything. So transmitter, antennas, connectors, and cables. Under the packages section, you will also find our studio packages. Uh, more basic ones, such as this, the, with the equipment that we've showed you today, or more complete ones, uh, such as this, which have everything you need um, depending on how many guests also you'd like to have in your studio. And as you can see, they're quite more expensive than the basic ones, of course. So, we hope this video has been useful to you in learning all there is to know about setting up a radio station. Uh, if you've got any questions, you can always reach out to us. We'll be happy to help. You'll find all our contact details on our website. Stay tuned and we'll see you in our next video.